Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Sunny's Journeys Kids. We're going to do a virtual road trip to Wisconsin today. Alright guys, we're going to Wisconsin and we're kind of excited to go to Wisconsin, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, so if you haven't already, go to CerniesJourneys.com, print off your map. It is on the home page. You can also follow along with our blog, follow along with our travels, or create your own. Alright guys, let's find Wisconsin. Right here. Right Alright, so the borders are... Minnesota, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, Lake Superior to the north, and Lake Michigan to the east. The capital of Wisconsin is Madison, and the biggest city is Milwaukee. It was the 30th state that joined the United States in 1848, and it is known as America's Dairyland. Um, it's also known as the Badger State. It's Amer America's Dairyland uh, because it's the number one producer of cheese in the United States. And, and number two for milk. And guess what? People from Wisconsin, we're known as cheese heads. Very, very <laughs> fitting. I think you have something on your head, guys. What? A cheese Cheese! cheese Alright. So we're going to talk about a few things today. Obviously... Cheese. We'll get we'll well we'll talk about cheese, but we're gonna talk about Frank Lloyd Wright to start. Frank Lloyd Wright is an architect. He lived from 1867 to 1959, and he was known as the pioneer of prairie school design. And so he designed more than a thousand buildings. Um, 532 were completed, and so he believed in really bringing the nature and um, harmony to the environment. So a lot of his buildings were really organic in architecture. So some of them were actually built into waterfalls, such as one of his famous buildings called Falling Water in Mill Run, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So a few of them are actually in Wisconsin. Of course, his home uh, called Taliesin is in Wisconsin. As Did well he make it? Yeah, he built it. Yep, he built it. And he, you know, one thing about Frank Lloyd Wright is not only did he build the homes, he did all of the interior design and he was very meticulous. Everything down to sometimes the plates. He would design everything for the house that he would, buy, he would build. He also did the S.C. Johnson Wax Building, which is in Racine, Wisconsin. So, again, he was known as one of America's greatest architects of all time. So, Taliesin, which was his home, was in Spring Green, Wisconsin. It was completed in 1911, and then it caught fire. That's a long story. We won't talk about it here. Yep. And so they rebuilt it, and uh, in 1914 it was rebuilt, and then um, it became a historic National Historic Landmark in 1976, 1976 as well as a UNESCO um, World Heritage Site actually last year, July of 2019. And so the Johnson Wax headquarters, which is the SC Johnson Wax, or SC Johnson Wax headquarters, is in <laughs> Racine, Wisconsin. Um, and that was built between 18, 1836 and in 1830, I'm sorry, 1936 and 1939. And so here's the cool thing. Wisconsin actually has, it's called the Frank Lloyd White Wright Trail. And you can follow it. If you go to the Wisconsin Tourism Board, um, I'll have everything down in the description too as a resource. You can actually go on Frank Lloyd Wright's trail. And you can go and virtually travel and look at some of his houses. Not only from the outside, but some of them also have interior um, views as well, which are really cool. I love his stuff. Um, I've got lots of his books. Lots and lots and lots of his books. So, What's inside of that? that he designed that. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. The earth. The earth. He, again, right. He's very organic and very about, the very about floor. earthy. Yep. Very good. All right. Let's go over to Milwaukee. Milwaukee is the fifth largest city in the Midwest, and it's the 31st largest city in the United States. It sits on Lake Michigan. And so um, a few things that you can do virtually um, in Milwaukee, we're not going to touch on. Um, Harley Davidson is actually from Milwaukee and they have virtual tours available. So Harley Davidson does um, motorcycles. Um, and then Milwaukee County Zoo, they have zoo cams and stuff like that as well. We like Milwaukee because of the cream puffs. Remember the cream puffs at State Fair? 
Weren't they delicious? They are like this big and they just gush everywhere and we just love them. They're delicious. Um, so what I would suggest you do is go to the Milwaukee Public Museum. The Milwaukee Public Museum has an exhibit called the Streets of Old Milwaukee. And it is actually the one of the first walkthrough dioramas um, in the world. Jamin, you know what a diorama is, right? What's hey, a diorama? Um, so a diorama is... You can make like whatever you want. You can make an animal home. It's like 3D, right? Yeah, it's just 3D. So this is like a 3D virtual, no, it's not a 3D virtual. It's a 3D model where you can actually walk through old times of, of Milwaukee. So it takes you back to the 20, 20th century, so early 1900s, and you get to walk through times. There's gaslit roads and you can see some of the shops and how they used to look back then too. So if you go onto the website again, this information will be down below. Um, you can go and do a virtual tour of old Milwaukee, which is kind of cool being that that's where I'm from. So I've got some definitely roots there. So, all right, last, but definitely not least on our virtual road trip and Wisconsin, we're going to talk about what do you guys think? Packers! Green Bay Packers, that's right. So Green Bay Packers, they're the uh, third oldest NFL franchise. Um, and also the best team ever. Oh, best team ever for sure. Um, but they're the oldest NFL team that actually stayed in the city in which it originated, which is really, really cool. So what date, Jamin? Do you remember the date in which the Packers started? Your birthday, bud. August 11th. August 11th, 1919, the Green Bay Packers originated. Um, and their founder was Curly Lambeau. Who, oh, Curly. Curly Lambeau, that's right. And so some cool stats about the Packers, just because I like to, I've got a lot of pride in the Packers. Um, they've won uh, 15 divisional championships. They've won 13 league championships, which is the most in NFL history. Um, they have won, they have gone to the Super Bowl nine times and won the Super Bowl four times. Um, 1967, 1968, uh, 1997, and 2011. Um, and so obviously they won the first two Super Bowls. And so the Vince Lombardi trophy is named after our coach of the time. His name was Vince Lombardi. Uh, Vince Lombardi, that's right. And so, um... Another thing, we don't like to talk about it because we actually live in bear country. Um, but the biggest rivalry in NFL history, as well as all U.S. sports, is the Bears Packers Ew! rivalry. Ew! So, Ew! go Pack Go, right? Go Pack Go, no That's day. right, that's right. So, the coolest thing about the Packers is our fans. We are the best fans in the NFL. I have to say it, sorry. Um, and, uh, you know, not only are we fans, most of us are stakeholders, and we're the only team in NFL that actually the fans what own. What stakeholders? We own the Packers. So it's not, it's not owned by a board, a chairman. It's owned by the fans, which is really, really, really cool. Um, and in fact, every game has been sold out at Lambeau Field since 1960. And if you want to get season, ticket hold, season tickets, they're on a 30-year wait list. In fact, you guys are on the list. And so we're, we're watching it every year we get our, our letter, hoping that it's going to get sooner and sooner. So, um, all right, so the Packers Hall of Fame actually has lots of fun virtual things that you can do. Don't disrespect my Packers, my girl. <laughs> um, so you can do um, Hall of Fame Live where you can actually uh, see interviews with Hall of Famers. You can... Um, Go look at some history presentations. They have a scavenger hunt of the Hall of Fame um, and just tons of other fun things to do, which is super, super, super exciting. So, I don't know. We can't wait to go back to Wisconsin. What? Go ahead. This is Star. <coughs> Who's Star? Fan. Star is her cheerleader that she got at Lambo, and actually she named her star after Bart Star. So we were at the game last year when they 
honored Bart Starr. So it was the first game of the season where we happened to see the Packers win, of course. Um, and Cora ended up getting Starr for Cherry Starr, Bart Starr. Cherry Starr. Cherry Starr, because she was there with Brett Favre. So, anyways, we love our Packers. We love Wisconsin. We think it's a great place. We hope all of you get to go there um, and appreciate it and enjoy it as much as we do. Um, all right, guys, what do you think? It was so fun. It was so fun. What do you say before we go? Let's go, Pack, go. No, we say go, Pack, go. Go, Pack, go. <laughs> go, Pack, go. <laughs> all right, we hope that we have a season this year. Go, Pack. Alright guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Bye. See you. Bye. Go Pat, go.